Good morning, I'm Stefania Cuoghi, and uh, the topic of my research is compensator design and sensors. My tutor is Professor Danasi, and my co-tutor is Professor Ruvati. I'm going to start my presentation with motivation on my research area. All real system in every energetic field could have a no satisfactory performance in steady state or dynamical condition. Usually, control design are based on trial and error procedure. So, the aim of my research is to find new deterministic approach, especially based on graphical methods. There are many industrial applications related to this topic, so in the first part of the last year, I mainly work with Professor Rovati on an industrial application whose main goals were to design and develop angular speed and acceleration measurement system of hydraulic gearbox omni excavators, improving the comfort of human drive and increasing safety in its use. The block diagram represents the system architecture based on a master slave control, where the analogical control board performs a master function demanding speed, acceleration, and rotation estimation to a microcontroller device, whilst to elaborate data coming from a all effect sensor. This is a position sensor fixed on vehicle motors and its output as a rise front at every motor pole rotation. Finally, a canvas interface is used as master slave communication channel. As regards development steps, as I said before, the elaboration processing unit is a microcontroller device, whereas to guarantee a real-time data elaboration and real-time data transmission. So, program execution time has to be short and deterministic, avoiding floating point computation and detecting every signal variation as soon as possible. In order to avoid a nonsense acceleration estimation due to quantization error on speed estimation and uncertainty propagation, our research on the right choice between fixed time and fixed position method was done. Fixed time method is based on county rise front in a fixed time window of uh, sensor signal, while fixed position method is based on evaluation time between two near rise front of, positions of um, position sensor. As regards experimental results, tests made in our laboratory and in company's laboratory confirm the goodness of our project decision. The system is really able to detect every speed and acceleration variation in real time with a speed relative error minus than 1%. In the second part of the last year, I mainly work with Professor Danasi on compensator design. In the block diagram, GS represents the original system, the system to be controlled, and the CS represents the compensator to be designed, so that the overall control system has the desired behavior. Inversion formula approach is a deterministic and graphical method for the design of compensator on Nyquist and Nicol planes. It was introduced in 1998 only for lead and lead compensators. Now that method is going to be extended to lead lead compensators. A um, unique formula for the transfer function of lead leg and lead leg compensator is found. So the design of all these different type of compensators can be done with the same approach. 
As regards the performance evaluation, I reported a numerical example of lead-led compensator design on Nyquist plan. GS is the regional system. It's unstable with an increasing oscillatory step response shown in green in the picture. CS is the lead-led compensator designed with inversion formula approach. And the control system has a phase merging equal to 45 degrees as required by specifications. And its step response is shown in red in the picture. The improvement of overshoot and settling time is evident. Finally, as a future work, as a future work, we are going to apply inversion formula approach to other kind of analogical compensators and to digital compensators too, in order to satisfy other industrial requirements. That's all. Thank you very much.